Hello and welcome to The Watches TV. Let's continue our saga about the chronograph by introducing the flyback chronograph, which is an evolution of the original complication. A chronograph is used to measure periods of time. It involves starting the mechanism, stopping it, reading the time, and then resetting it before the owner can time a new event. But what if you need to start timing another event immediately having finished the first? This might happen when you want to compare the times of one lap and the next one that's a race car. Caught in the heat of the action, there would be no time to stop, reset and start the chronograph without losing a few seconds. The flyback chronograph solves this problem. Its reset pusher immediately restarts the function by stopping, resetting and restarting the timing with only one push. So let's have a demonstration of how it works and for it we ask Blancpain to lend us a 50 Vatom Bariska flyback chronograph. You start the timing as on any other chronograph by pressing the stop and start button. Then, when you want to restart automatically the function, you press the reset button and you will see the second hand coming back to its place and starting moving again. When you want to finish definitely the measure, you stop the chronograph, then reset it as on any other chronograph and then the function is ready for full new timing. Before digital instruments became the norm, this function was really helpful for pilots and the navigation needs. It helped them calculate distances and speeds and at 200 km per hour, losing one and a half second in the process could mean significant distance delta and potential severe consequences. It's perhaps not surprising then that a brand known for its pilot's watches, Longines, was the first to patent the flyback in 1936. At this time, Longines had already launched two pilot's models, the Wims and the Lindbergh, which integrated both navigation tools into the display. The flyback chronograph has become ever more popular over the years, offering additional functionality to the regular chronograph without being as complex as the split seconds chronograph we will cover in the next report. At Basel this year, for instance, Alpina introduced its first manufactured flyback chronograph. Built on a modular mode, it has only 95 components and it was specially developed to offer smoother and more reactive pushes. The flyback chronograph is then like the gentleman of the chronographs. It is not as aristocratic as a split seconds chrono, nor as casual as a standard chronograph. This is the end of our report about the flyback chronograph. I hope you liked it, and if you did so, please share it. We'll meet again to speak about the split second chronograph and also to explore more modern and innovative chronographs. So, see you soon! Ciao!